I welcome you to another online session. Today we're going to talk about rules. Everywhere we go, we have rules. So if we go, for example, to church, we have church rules. If we go to school, we have school rules we have to obey. And if we are in the street, there are traffic rules. Now, life without rules would be a chaotic life. There would be chaos and there would be unfairness and confusion. Let's have a look at why do we need rules? Every game has its own rules, be it a sport, a game, a board game or any other game. People who don't stick to rules create confusion and unfairness, as I said in, as I said in the beginning. Today I'm going to read a passage from the book, The Story of Football. This book was written by Rob Lloyd Jones and illustrated by Paddy Mounter. This is um, a series of books from Osborne Young Reading. Football really took off in Britain. Many people think the Romans introduced it there too. But one story claims it was first played with the head of a Viking prince. The game quickly became very popular in England. Too popular, in fact. When matches were organized between two villages, thousands turned up to play. The aim of the game was to kick the ball from one village to the other. But matches were really just an excuse for a ferocious fight. While huge crowds gathered to cheer on the players, more nervous spectators stayed safe indoors. Players chased the ball along narrow streets, over muddy fields and even through bogs and rivers. Games could last a whole day and sometimes into the next day too. Throughout the match, players hit each other, bit each other and kicked each other. They even bashed each other with bats. The only thing that wasn't allowed was murder. So do you imagine living at those times and having to deal with this situation? As we can see here, rules were not existing. They, they didn't have any rules, so people did whatever came to mind. Now, before I pass on to the questions, I would like to give you some um, exercises to think about. So the first um, slide I'm going to show you is about traffic signs. Not only traffic signs, but we also have other signs we find in buildings, we find um, in the city and everywhere we go. So, for example, the first one, think about the first one, where can we find a similar sign? We find it in gardens, in public areas, Okay, and that sign is don't litter. We have a crossed P and that means no parking. We find it um, in, um, on garages, for example, um, on gar doors of um, garages and we also find it um, in other places around the city. We have the bicycle, no bicycle. We find it in public gardens, generally this. And we have um, someone talking and this cross, that means that no speaking, for example, in a library or no um, noise. Then we have this sign, which we can interpret as um, no feeding, no feeding the animals, for example, we find it in zoos or in gardens. This is stop, so don't go um, beyond this area, for example. We have a cross shoe, which means we can't step, for example, on the grass. Then we have uh, no smoking sign. This is a very common sign as well. No drinks and no food. We can find these, for example, in buildings, on buses, for example. Now, what I want from you today is to draw your own sign. Create a sign of your own. You can think, for example, about um, what we're um, living at the moment. For example, you can draw a mask 
at uh, it's a symbol that we must wear our masks for example and there are other um, signs you can create as usual i will be waiting for your pictures and um, send them to our address which will i which i will re remind you at the end now can you write the instructions of the following game? This is another exercise I would like you to do. So here we have a picture of a game. I'm sure you've recognized this game. And on the right here, I have a word phrase bank with some words and phrases you can use to um, describe this game. So you have to write the name of the game, the objective of the game, and the equipment needed. So what is the objective of the game? The objective is um, what is the game, how is the game played and why is it played? What would you have to do in order to win? Okay, and the equipment needed. What do we need? We don't really need many things. We don't need many things over here. Then we have number of players which you um, can play and game rules and how to play. Okay, these you can, um, game rules and how to play, you can write them together. And then here we have the, the phrases count aloud from 1 to 20. Close your eyes well, don't cheat, find a good hiding place, stay quiet, say ready or not, here I come, and keep looking for your friends. Now, another exercise you can do is this um, question. So at school you are celebrating games day. Your teacher wants to know what is your favorite game and how to play it. Write down the instructions so you can share them with your teacher and classmates. You can also draw a picture. So we have to create your own poster um, about this game. And you have to describe it. You can also draw pictures. And here are some questions that can help you. So what is the name of the game? What is the game's objective, as I explained before? Why, what do we have to do in order to win? What equipment is needed? Where is it played? How many players can play? Usually when we have a boarding, for example, we have the number of players um, written down on the box. How does the game start and continue? What are the rules? So what do we have to do? And how does the game end and how do you win? And these are um, some of the questions you can answer in order to write this um, poster, this description of your own game. Now, let's move on um, to the questions about the text. So, before we read about um, the rules of football, and we said that before rules were introduced, um, there were many people did all sorts of things, okay? And we said, for example, people used to hit each other with bats, okay? Um, and the only thing that was allowed, wasn't allowed was murder, okay? They chased each other. So the first question is what, what is, what was allowed before the introduction of proper rules? Mention two things, okay? How were football kits at the beginning? Okay, so at the beginning, for example, um, they had some sorts of kits. Now, these questions I'm going to link as well to other to another text, which will I, I will read in another session. So the first question for today is this. What was allowed before the introduction of proper rules mentioned to things? Now, the other questions, um, I'm going to um, read them, but uh, they're going to be a preparation for them the following session, for another session. I'm going to read them so that you can have some time, maybe uh, you can save them or copy them. How were football kits at the beginning? What was the name of the new association? What did they do for extra grip? How were the first pitches? When was the first FA Cup held? Why did the semi-final opponent drop out? When did the biggest change to soccer take place? And what happened in 1970? So I remind you these questions are not about text of today, but they're going to be, um, I read them for today so that they are, are a preparation for the next session. In the next session, I will be reading 
um, about we need some rules another chapter which will introduce us to the proper rules okay that's where introduced in this game okay so that was all for today thank you very much and i'll see you another time bye bye